Action. Don't run. See? Action. This is exactly what I'm saying. Be on time. Hi, this is Raghu Dixit here and I'm super proud to be associated with Audio Life School of Sound Engineering, Bangalore. While there is very little attention given by the artists, there is also definitely a huge lack of great institutes where the correct and the optimal level of education is provided. There is a huge vacuum for that to be filled very soon. Most of the students of, let's say, I mean, an, an artist could be very, very good in his performance or in his skills, but then at the same time, he needs to sound great on the other side, that is from the audience perspective, whether on stage or inside your living room, if you're listening to a CD of an artist, that artist deserves to be heard the best way he can be heard. And for that, there comes this army called the sound engineers. And sound engineers are the probably the unsung heroes of the music industry. Uh, very little is known about them, very little knowledge available to the general public about how much work goes into making a song, especially from the sound engineer's perspective. Right from the time he decides to place the microphone to the instrument, technology he adapts to capture that particular instrument, then shapes the sound and then collectively brings all the sounds together to make it a sound, a cohesive song and make that artist sound beautiful. It is the most crucial part of an artist's success and unfortunately, these guys are not given much credit in the outside world. Unless your song becomes a massive hit and then everybody wants to record with that particular engineer or get their songs mixed and mastered by that particular engineer. As far as the general public goes, it's very little is spoken about them. But as an artist, I would say right up the top of credit list would be my sound engineer. Future of sound engineers is as bright as the future of music is. I think in India, sound engineering is definitely catching up and the future is very, very bright simply because there are very, very few good engineers out there doing some good work. The industry demand to what is supply, there is a huge, huge vacuum. I remember when I was building this studio, I put out a Facebook status saying I'm looking out for sound engineers. I had a tough time to find a good one. A seriously difficult time finding a good one. Though I sifted through almost 200 odd applications from all over the country and few of them even from abroad, I still didn't meet that one person that I could say, this is the guy I want to work with. Of course, I am demanding, I am choosy, I am very particular, but I think that's how everyone should be. If you are so particular about good sound, how your song should be sounding at the end of the day, you definitely need that one incredible person manning the sound itself. If your engineer doesn't know which microphone to use for what particular kind of instrument or to what kind of compressor should be used to get a certain amount of kick out of a certain instrument, how much depth to give to a certain instrument in a huge mix, then you're suffering big time. Your art suffers because of the lack of good sound engineer. And if your art is suffering, then you're not a good musician, period. It's as simple as that. So sound engineer becomes your right hand as a musician. And you have to, have to be nice to him all the time. <laughs> sound engineering that way is definitely finding a great foothold in India. There are very, very few institutes providing quality educations and very few engineers are coming out of that. These institutes shining bright in the industry. As far as the industry itself is concerned, there is a huge demand. Well, sound engineers can find a foothold into various, various kinds of industries right from film industry where probably the biggest jobs happen and most of the sound engineers coming out of institutes aspire to get into film industry simply because there's just too much of variety of work, yes. And then secondly, there's definitely good money in it. Top of the rung definitely is the film industry where you want to sit in a cozy studio, get to do variety of work that comes from film industry. Each song is a different demand. So there's definitely a variety of jobs involved in it. Secondly, you go into television, then comes the lower rung jobs of, of becoming, say, sound capturing, sync sound for television crews and etc, etc. Then comes, of course, lots of avenues like either in the studio again or news channels, which is probably not the best aspirations. Then there are sound engineers in the radio stations. Another very, very strong, attractive force in the industry is being a live sound engineer, traveling with the best of the musicians, mixing their sound live. What 
joy it is to mix live is that gratification is immediate if you see your crowd having a great time because of your artist is doing his great job the way he does or she does but you know inside your heart is that you are making the artist sound so good that the audience is loving it because some of the greatest acts can fall flat with a bad sound engineer and that's just absolutely unforgivable even though the audience may not turn around and clap for the sound engineer in your heart definitely you know that you are the reason for such a great show there is also great opportunity for becoming an acoustics engineer if you're a great sound engineer and have a flair for acoustics and architecture and i think that's a great space to get into because again in india we have very very few acoustics engineers only i know how difficult it was to get this studio up sounding exactly the way i had imagined it to be and it took a lot of trial and errors and layering and pulling it down and putting it back to get this this sound this dead amazing mix of both dead reflective surfaces in the studio to use it for different purposes at different points of time who know their job can convert any place given to them into a, a great sounding room for that i know how much i struggled to get my room sound exactly the way i wanted it to to find that one person it took many months eventually i did that's when i realized that there are not very many <laughs> people available with expertise to do this kind of a job so acoustics engineers if you get the right kind of institute to learn it please go for it because there's a huge lacuna waiting for you to put your foot in and claim glory in it absolutely i mean if i were a student aspiring to be a sound engineer i shouldn't be really worried about my future as long as i am able to put in the effort in india i think music industry has always been governed by the monster called bollywood in a big way where that's where the money is that's where the business is that's where 90% of the music that people hear comes from bollywood the big big daddy of music industry in india is actually becoming cooler and cooler earlier i remember when i needed to listen to cool music i had to buy western music to listen to it and i wouldn't get to hear those kind of sounds or rhythms in in indian film music or anywhere else for that matter not even the independent music or indie pop that was there then could suffice my want for listening to cool music but over the years bollywood has definitely become much much cooler and and we don't need to look beyond what bollywood is churning out or the film industry i would say is churning out and uh, to listen to great music like any other aspect of life there is good and bad film music and if you listen to the good film music i think some incredible work is going on in that field and thankfully film industry continues to be the big daddy the okay. but at the same time speaking of bollywood there's also this amazingly burgeoning industry of the independent music that is happening and lots and lots more artists are making their own original music now earlier it used to be cool to imitate artists from the western countries but now i think indian bands and indian artists are very proud to wear india on their sleeve and showcase where they come from their language their culture through their music and also their attitude the music scene today is quite probably closer to the true india that it is today we are representing very proudly where we come from that's a beautiful thing that is the artistic side but then there is also the business side which is of course I mean, it's, it's happening all around the world where the music industry is running into losses etc etc probably in a way it's very good because the truest of the artists are only surviving this kind of what you say tsunami of piracy that's attack industry like only those artists who can stand on stage and hold a crowd and come out on their own are the ones who are surviving that is filtering of the boys from the men and girls from the ladies that's a great sign for me to look at it positively artistically it's definitely a good sign because only the good ones are surviving it but at the same time you also have studio artists who are using every possible technology certain movie songs if you hear just a good texture of the voice is enough and the rest is done on the computer <laughs> you have both yin and yang to it i completely love the times i'm living in there's too much excitement happening and now we have the freedom of reaching out to our own audiences directly through social media without the middlemen called record labels which is a great thing but at the same time most of them don't know how to do that 90% of the young artists i meet are hungry for success and fame and money without much effort whereas that is bad i think there are lot more avenues to be heard to and to get out there if you're really good you definitely get noticed very easily from what it used to be last few years back 
I think we are living in exciting times as far as the music industry is concerned in India. There is also a burgeoning independent music scene which is blossoming in country earlier. It was very difficult to be heard in the industry if you do not have a record label backing you. Uh, but now I think artists are directly able to reach out to their audience sitting in their bedroom writing a song and putting up a video on YouTube or say Facebook or talking about it on Twitter and etc etc basically social media has eliminated the middlemen and record labels for that matter if you are really good i think people do take notice and it becomes a viral within no time then it's up to you how to take that forward as an artist there is lot more knowledge among youngsters about managing a band and managing a show the legal aspects of a contract etc etc i'm very proud of indian music scene right now even indian artists have, for that matter have matured a lot more than what it used to be like earlier when i started playing the music if i could play hotel california note to note i would be considered as a good musician <laughs> but now it's not that case in fact if you do play a cover song also i would love to hear your own version of the cover song rather than an imitation of exact original more and more indian musicians are now trying to make original music truly representing who they are where they coming from their culture etc etc so there's incredible amount of original music coming out of indian independent music so the need of the hour right now while i see a lot of youngsters very excited about becoming famous and rich be on tv or are being respected everywhere they go there is very little effort being put by 90% of the artists at least where it matters that is in education education as a musician be it theory or be it the skills on the instrument or uh, being a performer on stage or technical knowledge about what goes into making a performance happen or even for that matter even the intricacies of his own instrument the electronics of it etc etc hi i'm ragu dikshit and i'm here to tell you how proud i am to be associated with audio life a one stop solution for students aspiring to become sound engineers or music producers the only one of its kind sound engineering institute in bangalore i i am very very sure that students who have enrolled to this particular course at audio life will find it very fruitful and very educative and fun to learn audio life school of sound engineering where you will find the best of the faculty and best of the facilities for students aspiring to become the future sound engineers my life audio life thank you